Hi, this is Mavis, and we are from I Do for the Smartwatch, and also we are manu the manufacturing, uh, the biggest manufacturer for the smartwatch category from I Do. Our booth number here is 5C18. Biggest and manufacturer? Yeah, actually, our factory we got around like a 2,000 people in the peak season, and also actually we have like a, more than 300 people for the R&D center. So and, uh, it's, it's a very nice smartwatch design that you do? Uh, yes, actually we uh, have this as our latest uh, GPS watch and also we got have different screens and also we have like a GPS version and a non-GPS version and also this is like a 1.38 inch with the uh, LCD screen design and also we got like a different sports mode for example we got more than uh, 100 different sports modes so uh, the user could change the sports modes from the app end and also we're gonna to have like a swimming and the other yoga outdoor cycling and also running so we could always have like a different activities like this and also usually it records the bad oxygen and also like uh, the music control and also Amazon Alexa voice assistant. Either here we, we got in built-in speaker for the Bluetooth call for the features you need you could like always talk by the watch with the phone and also we have the built-in Alex built-in microphone for the Amazon Alexa voice assistant. So it means uh, the watch could control connect with the smart home devices. And also, it's gonna to have the, uh, it's gonna to control the local local features on the watch, like uh, to uh, start the uh, start the sports mode, and also the others like uh, heart rate, stress, and also breathing rate, and also there's like uh, a lot of like uh, alarm and also bad oxygen. So this is like uh, our latest sport watch. So what is the name of this? Uh, the name, the the model name for this model called IDS02. All right, and you have it right here. Yep, actually we got like uh, this. Uh, we have 1.38 inch for the biggest biggest screen, and also it got working time around one week. And also uh, we're gonna to have like uh, the stainless steel for this port, and also with the Bluetooth call, and also like uh, with uh, Alexa. Alexa voice assistant. Can you do Google Assistant also, or only uh, Amazon? For now, we do, we don't suggest for Google Assistant, but we're gonna to maybe integrate later. All right, and this is ID Sport yeah. 01 you also have here. Yeah, also we have a Sporty series. This is only round, and also we got have the Square Watches. Square Watches uh, is like this. So it's like a more army style body and also the design is also a little bit kind of like a Apple's Archer style but actually it's not, it's like a sporty. So we're gonna have like also all those different screens, like a different, different sports mode. Usually we support for more than 100 different sports modes and also uh, for the watch faces, we have the cloud watch faces, more than 100 different watch faces. And also, also it checks the uh, sleep tracking and also connect with the cloud and also Amazon Alexa voice assistant. Can we try a different uh, watch face? Uh, this is only a prototype we bring for this fail, so I think... You don't the have a behind the, when you go on the front screen? Oh, maybe it's here. You cannot just uh, switch. Yeah, we only have like a, maybe three or four watch faces on the watch in the local. But usually if you need to change for more watch faces, we need to connect with our app called Verifit. So you could uh, change the watch faces from the app. And uh, can you talk about some of the cloud features you have? And um, yes. how do you, do you work with this? Uh, actually, we are the manufacturing here showed uh, this is our factory video yeah. so we could have maybe some introduce is about it Shenzhen? the factory yes it's located in Shenzhen Longhua and also we have all those like a different testing for the blood oxygen heart rate and also like the different algorithm either like this kind of device called uh, the K5 Cosmet is only the 
for the calorie testing. And also we have the algorithm testing, and also we have the UI designer, and also we got to have a lot of like different sections in the R&D center. So here's our R&D center office. So we can see we have a lot of like uh, uh, engineers to do a lot of like different research. It's like uh, our patent design, so it's like a global patent design, and also we have a lot of awards like this. And also we do have our factory. Our factory, the big reason, we got around 2,000 people, and uh, also the and big, the is big a software solution. Like in the cloud, where all the information can be uh, used, potentially? Yes, correct. I, I, I'm going to show you maybe more information later after the factory uh, introduced part. Uh, here we have the ID and the design team, manufacturing center. We have five or six floors. It's like in Longhua. And also we have the automated, uh, semi-automated semi assembling lines. A lot of the procedures for the manufacturing we done by the uh, automated assembling uh, inside of the labor assembling. So we have a lot of like the machines to do the assembling, like gluing and also the other parts, and also testing done by the automated machines. So it's like uh, a lot of like a big giant companies like uh, Apple, Fitbit, Garmin. They do a lot of like automated like this. Also, we gonna have the our internal lab for the reliability test. So it's like uh, for the lab span, lab span test of the watches, and also rose tests, and also a lot of reliability tests. And even like the Bluetooth audio test, we have a lot of like different parts. Yes. So a very advanced factory and a very optimized uh, chipset. You yeah. work with a good chipset? Uh, the chipset we are using called Actions. Actions is the chipset what uh, uh, in the industry like uh, we this chi this same chipset offered even like uh, for Redmi. Redmi is from Xiaomi. So we are using the same from same Zuhai. can too high actions. Yes, from too high. So right. stable, good performance, low power. Yeah, usually it's like a low power consumption and also the data transfer and also the cloud server data to transfer by this kind of Bluetooth chipset is quite stable. And very good price. Yes, usually the price is very cost effective. It doesn't cost the same like I iWatch. Uh, Apple I watch. don't think so. I think the price compared with iWatch, maybe even like the, the price could be maybe one sixth or maybe one seventh of the cost. Nice. So it's a good show for you. How uh, is the uh, last three years? What you do the last three years? Uh, last the three years. Because uh, everything was closed. Uh, actually, our business continued growing even during the Corona pan pandemic years. Ah, there we see some software. What is this? Uh, this is about our mass digital management system. It's also a, a very advanced system that is which Apple, Fitbit, and also Garmin, Xiaomi, Huawei, those A branding, they are adopting the same uh, mass digital management system. This kind of system is like when you are sitting in the office, you could see all those data to check the like real-time data from the production lines and also the quality quality center. For example, this is an incoming quality control board. So you could see the you could see the actual raw materials we received each day and also the defective rate and also like the defective vendors what we have like the different records so either we have a lot of like the chasing information like a lot number and the other information and also this kind of system we also adopted on the production lines and this for, also yeah for example this is for the production mass digital management system so we could see like on each of the line we could check about the production process uh, pass rate defective rate and also uh, daily input and output and also this is a very scientific uh, management system on the uh, manufacturer part usually a lot of the 
suppliers or maybe the smaller factories, trading companies, they don't have this kind of scientific management system. But we adopted to uh, to connect it with more A branding, B branding. They have this kind of uh, a request just to check about the automa automation of the manufacture manufacturers and also the uh, I mean the. I mean the uh, the other scientific management system for all those data real time in uh, linked with the production part. Cool. So uh, you and also I'm gonna to introduce ah, you about the app end. So the app called the very fit. So we do have our own server uh, with like different regions. For example, if the clients sell those products in US, we have the US server. If they sell in India region, we have India server. If they, if they sell in European region, we have EU server in France. So we have like different locations, different server to protect the user data quite safe. The other thing is uh, also we have this kind of app management server system. So we could easily to check about uh, well the end user's location, for example, here for very fit, we have more than four million, four million end users registered this app, and also more than, uh, more than four hundred, four million for the activated user. Also the layout, like uh, different regions, like India, like uh, U.S., and also like uh, just in the top rankings, and also we could analyze the data. For example, what kind of favorite sports modes they are like, what kind of age, the the gender, like uh, is a man or is a lady, and what kind of favorite sports modes, and also what kind of user habits they got. And also, once we have those information, we could easily recognize what kind of next generation products we need to be to be designed. So what do people ask you to do for next generation? Do, do some people say they would like to have uh, Android Wear software or APP? Yeah. yeah, actually for this kind of Bluetooth watches, uh, it's still like growing. I think now it's like an age of like uh, feature phones before. Later, I think with this kind of smart watch, we are going to be like a smartphones. So smartphone gonna to replace the feature phones. But for the real smart watch, it's like our next generation development. It gonna to replace the current Bluetooth With Android. watch. Android. Uh, Android we, software maybe. Usually we, we are also adapting maybe the Google Wear system, Google Wear OS. It's open, everybody can use if they want? Uh, I don't think so. Actually, for now, they are open to limited brands like uh, Fossil or maybe like uh, uh, maybe Timex or maybe some else brands. But uh, usually, like uh, some Chinese brands like uh, Huawei, they have their home system. And also with uh, Xiaomi and Amazfit, they have their also own system. Even Oppo, they have their own system. But for us, I think we're gonna to sign the strategic partnership and also to do some licensing, those kind of different ways to have this kind of cooperation. What would be nice is to uh, sell the Google Wear, but very low, low cost. Uh, With the action CPU or something? I don't think so. If we're gonna to integrate with Google Wear system, it's gonna to ask uh, even like a high, high series of actions chipset or maybe other chipsets because beca yeah because not only about expensive it also requires about the internal ram and also flash and also other size so it, it asks for more advanced chipset and the battery is much lower much yeah shorter yeah even like the screen we're gonna maybe to replace the current lcd screen with am oled screen so it's kind of like a Every single of the configurations, we're gonna to upgrade. Do you do e-ink? Uh, e-ink screen? Yeah, actually, we we did that before, but the, the sales were not quite great. So far in this market, only like Garmin, they got this kind of e-ink e screen. All right, cool. All uh, right, so you number one. Uh, and I do. It means you do. <laughs> yeah, I th I think uh, uh, if you are looking for the manufacturing center, we are we are one of the best because the advantage, just as I mentioned, the mass digital ma management system and also the automated assembling lines, uh, is kind of like a 
a lot of the factories they couldn't do do this kind of level, and also we are supplying a lot of A branding. And uh, you're looking for distributor in different country. Uh, we we was we were we were plan to do maybe part of our brand, but uh, so far the marketing and the channel and also like advertising is not our advantage. For so far, our our biggest advantage is still focus on to the products design and also the ID design and also the production and also control the whole whole process from the production and the quality system. It's like a behind. Support and, from behind. And some of these watch very affordable price, very good price. Yeah, correct. Uh, usually the uh, the mass production, for example, the, the price for this kind of square watch, we could rank to like around uh, 15 to 20. This is uh, the range of the purchasing price. And also even like the round is like around, up or less 20. And uh, distributor you want to have in, in some... Uh, Developing country in Europe and in, uh, India, maybe you will work with the distributor in different country. Uh, our current uh, sales sales region is uh, like uh, more focused on Euro Europe and also U.S. Also, uh, India was also part of our biggest uh, market. We used to occupy more than 50 percent of the local Indian market share on the smartwatch category. It's even like a more than a must fit. Nice. So, uh, Xiaomi is very happy with you, your friends? Uh, yeah. Yes, actually, we also have some, some relationship and also supply with them for part of the brands. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Cool. OK, enjoy the show. Cool. And it was a good show for you? Yes, it's a good show. For the past three days, it's like uh, every day we have like more than 10 to 15 meetings each day. But and also, uh, the last three years was uh, very strange. Uh, for there last no shows, no? Yeah, for the last three years, it's about the pandemic and also the government, Chinese government, they control about uh, the movements. So you need a lot of different procedures to go outside like Hong Kong. It was very difficult time? Yes, it was a very difficult time because everybody needed to do a COVID test every single day. And also you gonna to you, you don't allow to be to go through in different regions without a test. In the nose? Uh, I think mostly in the throat. It's not a good feeling. Yeah. For me it's like nightmare. <laughs> I want to forget this time. Okay. Cool. Alright, but now everything's back to normal. Yes, everybody is happy and also this is our first time to go in here, have the exhibition in Hong Kong. This is like a reopen the first time. Cool.